find the domain of each function. The deal with square roots is our, our x's have to be greater than or equal to whatever is underneath our square root. So if I take what's underneath and I say that has to be greater than or equal to zero, I can solve this and it will give me my domain x has to be greater than or equal to positive 2 for this function. As an inequality, if that's how I'm going to write it, then we would just add our squiggly bracket, our x and our line, to say that our domain is all x's where x is greater than or equal to 2. Or we could use interval notation, since it's greater than or equal to 2, I'm starting at 2 and getting bigger. So 2 comma infinity. Now in B, I do have a square root, and so I am going to still take that and set it as a relationship with zero, but if it's on the bottom of a fraction, it cannot equal zero. So I just would not put the equal sign, okay? Because where the bottom is zero gives me an error, so that's the only reason why this is greater than or equal to zero on the first one, and it's not equal to on the second one. So, I need to solve this, so I'm going to subtract 5 and get negative x is greater than negative 5. To get rid of the negative, I need to divide or multiply by negative 1, which causes my inequality to switch directions. So, anything less than 5 will work to give us values for this function. And so, I can set that up in set builder notation or whatever that's called or as interval notation we're talking about all the numbers less than five so we go from negative infinity to five with a parentheses because it's not equal to